the HK Mark 23. Is this possibly the greatest handgun to ever exist? Yeah, nope. But you know what? Today is a good day for a beer, don't you think? Well, hello and welcome back, my friends, to a long overdue firearms review here on my channel. Today we have for you what is possibly my favorite handgun in my entire collection, hands down without a doubt, and also probably the best shooter, at least a gun I am the best shooting with. What we have for you today is a magical box containing an H&K Mark 23 chambered in 45 ACP. Now, let's go ahead and bring in here to take a peek at what we have in store. And here we are back at the old tried and true workbench with this beautiful HK box. And I say beautiful facetiously because this thing is pretty cheaply made. It's just a cheapy plastic hinges, no actual nice metal pins, no nothing. They got their little logo stamped on it, some little cheapy clasps, all your info. And oh my God, I'm giving you my gun serial number. Whoa, you guys can turn it into a registry. God, I hate those guys. Don't be that guy. Anyways, box cheap which kind of sucks for as expensive as a gun as this is and then flip the old tabs and what do you have here well none other than an hk mark 23 um cheapy foam nothing to write home about um it's got a hole in the middle not sure what that's for um janky old bumper sticker no one cares about that and honestly i didn't know i had that and then this side get this old piece of poop out of the way got this here another cheapy piece of foam and uh all the manuals and shit that I probably tossed in a drawer and will never see again. But now we get to it. The box is just barely big enough for this behemoth of a handgun, which uh, before we get into it, let me give you a little size reference here. A lot of people don't realize just how freaking huge these things are. I mean, these things are Desert Eagle size. I got big hands, so you know, it works perfectly for me. I love this thing, which is why I shoot it so well. But compared to like what I would consider another, you know, full size 45, handgun it is much larger like significantly larger which i'll do a video on this in the future this was actually my uh, grandfather's everyday carry for a majority of his life but anyways back to the gun at hand you got the hk mark 23 here comes base gun and i remember once upon a time you could get these things and they didn't actually come with these thread protectors which i think the time i was looking was probably like 2012 and for some reason they just didn't come with them but that may have just been the gun shop i was shopping at but nowadays they come with just the gun, you get two mags, 12 round mags at that, and in some band states they'll come with 10 round mags that have like a big old plastic doodad that's placed through the mag right there to limit it to 10. But yep, two 12 round mags, uh, and yeah, that's about it. You really don't come with much, you just get your big ass handgun and um, an extra mag. So yeah, that's about all there is to it. So with that being said, Let's give you an opinion of the gun. I'm gonna give you some footage here real quick of me running and gunning this thing in like a uh, two gun style match. And this first video will be the pistol only course. So check this out real quick and then I'll give you my opinions on how this thing ran. Shooter ready? Yep. Stand by. <laughs> And back to the bench we are here you saw that first little clip it was short and that stage was really simple very linear you just run up you stop and you mag dump across then you got to do a little bit of shooting through a little hole there you can hear my old man noises going down ugh, groaning i know man getting old's rough but with that being said the gun shot fantastic i remember that stage very well and it went very smooth wonderfully extremely accurate i hit everything and I was actually running this here Octane 45 HD suppressor on it. I mean, very controllable, very light. I mean, the gun itself is just very pointy. I love this thing. And then another thing I might add, I'm going to give a shout out to this here holster company because uh, I couldn't find a holster that was like very uh, well suited to a suppressor. You know, normally you'd have this thing in a holster, you could pull it up and draw it. But 
with all of this you got on the end here, you got to draw it way out, and then it would just suck. But what I found was, get this, right? An airsoft company that made a holster that your gun just straight up clips to. Clips in, holds it in, wore this thing on my hip with a press of the button, it just comes loose up and out, and the holster, you just put it right back. So it's handy. There's no long draw, it's just out and up in the... Maker is DTD, I think it's like double tap designs or something, but this holster ran me like 40 bucks and it's it's an airsoft holster, so for 40 bucks and something that actually works and is airsoft, hey, no complaints from me. But anyways, back to what I was saying. The gun shoots well, it's fantastic, it's very pointy. The reloads are very smooth, everything runs right back into place. Big ol' slide release is nice, the safety easily actuated. I know some people hate safeties on handgun. I love them. But, like I said, this thing was very pointy, ran up, static shooting, fantastic. So now, let's get you into a video of me actually doing a little uh, little moving and shooting, and then I'll give you my opinion on that. All right, ready when you are. All right, shooter ready? Stand by. Hey, this shit is not and here we are back to the wonderful whiteboard we all know and love to give this gun a final score now with that last video you saw or clip i should say you saw me running around shooting things, and I gave you a little bit of bonus RPK footage there because who doesn't love watching me shoot that RPK? And I'm pretty sure y'all have seen that before. With that being said, the gun is very quiet with the suppressor on it, which is why you can hear my good old pal Marco Leva in the background telling me, hey, quit fucking shooting. The damn uh, timer is not reading your shots. But me being in the zone I was, just had to keep going, blasting and gunning. You know, there's no stopping once you get going. Now, with that being said, Let's get to the scores here. Point one, extras. What are extras, as I've stated before? Extras are what comes with the gun. The gun comes with a case, two mags, and some miscellaneous labels. Case, cheap, but serviceable, I guess. Two mags, would love more, but hey, two mags is whatever gun comes with, and then all your extras. And it comes with a neato burrito little sticker, so that's the only thing that saved it from getting a four. So with that being said, five out of 10, middle of the pack, nothing special. Now, reliability. This gun excels on reliability. I've never failed this gun any ammo it wouldn't need. Steel case, brass case, aluminum case, suppressed, unsuppressed, dirty as shit, you name it, she'll run. Never had it jam ever, and I've got not a ton of rounds, maybe two, 3,000 through it. I shoot it fairly regularly, but not any crazy volume of ammo. But like I said, she never jams, and everyone I talk to say they never jam. Way over designed, over built. You know, HK knew what they were doing. They wanted a gun, uh, as the old joke goes, crew served handgun. It's big, it's meaty, it goes, it runs, it does what it's supposed to do. An offensive handgun, man. Fantastic. So, 10 out of 10. Perfect score there. Now, ergonomics. This one is purely my opinion because, uh, yeah, it's ergonomics. And ergonomics are going to be individual uh, preferences. So I give it a nine out of 10. It's big, it's meaty, it fits my hand, it's comfortable, it points, does what I want, I love it, nine out of 10. Not perfect, there's a few things that could be changed, but nothing I could just outwardly point and say this specifically is it. So, like I said, nine out of 10. Now, performance. How mod or how relevant is the gun to a modern battlefield test shooting scene? So it's got a few detriments to it. One, it's big, could be good, could be bad, but the more you look at it, generally big-ass handgun isn't viewed as a good thing. Two, it holds 12 rounds. You got the FNX 45 that holds 15. You got all sorts of other guns that hold more. 12 was good in the 90s when it came to be, but anymore it's kind of, eh, not so good. But aside from that, it shoots good. I mean, just, you know, being big and having a slightly lesser capacity mag will knock it down to a 7 out of 10. And then, the most important score, as always, the Nico score. 
my overall opinion of how freaking cool is this gun and this gun is absolutely cool as can be this is a solid nine out of ten there are very few pistols i could think of that would be cooler than a mark 23 so again nine out of ten so you add all that up average it out you get an eight out of ten this is a stellar pistol fantastic wonderful everyone needs to have one so everyone go buy one if you can afford it and that's where we get to this part of the old video 1800 to 2500 bucks is about the average window you're going to get one in so these are not a pistol for your average everyday joe man going out gun shopping they're expensive they're for collectors or people like me who like to buy expensive shit and rag it out and shoot it but whenever you drop that money it is immediately evident of why it costs so much the gun is just so overbuilt it is wonderful it's incredibly accurate if i had a hundred yard range here at the house i would take it and stretch it out to a hundred yards and i can hit an eight inch gog at a hundred yards all day which i know there's gonna be those guys in the comments oh eight inches at a hundred yards not that spectacular you know but for me it is it's really good and i can't do that with any of my other handguns so that means this gun is crazy accurate don't you forget it but yeah Really expensive, kind of out of reach of your average everyday shooter. But in general, the gun is fantastic. If you get your hands on one, go shoot one. Or if you have the chance to shoot one, go do it. You won't regret it. And to sign off this video, I absolutely approve of this handgun. And I'll try to get out more videos more regularly. But life's busy, man. I'm sorry. But thank you guys for tuning in. Till next time.